The following is a semi-professional attempt at humor. The jokes contained within are intended for a mature audience. Not 18, we aren't cops, but we will occasionally say things that you find offensive. If you do get offended by our videos, make sure to keep any hate in the comments section where it belongs, or write about it on your blog. Above all else, try to have fun and remember, nothing matters. Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of Naha Hollow. We are about to enter world three of the Talus Principle. As usual, with me here is Roman. I wonder what uh, philosophical thing we'll find in this garden. You ever wonder why the <laughs> why the T tetromino kind of is always portrayed like this, kind of like it's an upright penis? That because we like, love phallic things. I guess that's true. Most things in... Like, even this one could be, like, laid out flat, but they always make it so like the long port. I saw a little blip um, on the Facebooks or the YouTubes or whatever about... Uh, I, and I feel terrible that I don't remember the artist's name, but I'm sure if you Google uh, vagina bike artist, there is a artist who her bike taxi is a vagina so that people can, you know, ride her bike taxi. Basically, she built, like, this giant cushiony vagina because her whole thing is too many things are phallic in oh, our society. And I was funny. like, man, I would ride in the vagina bike. I, I, I bet it's comfy as shit. Probably. <laughs> I mean, I, it was probably a smooth ride the first time we rode it coming out, you know what I mean? <laughs> well... Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I think about... um, I don't know if I've talked about this on the show before, but... I've definitely said it to other friends. You you know when you see those hillbilly trucks and they put the fucking hanging balls on them or whatever. All oh, the truck nuts. I fucking hate that shit, man. Um. And and if you have those on your truck and you watch our show, don't watch our show. We're not for you. Uh, <laughs> if you have truck nuts, you can watch our show. We're we're gonna sell out, man. Like. Okay. Well, here's my thing: is like, you're a big tough man with your big tough truck, and you put balls on it to show how tough you are. Why is there not a big flapping vagina? Because like, if you're a hetero, wouldn't you want a big flapping set of like poo slips flapping in the wind? I, I could see like tits for the mud flaps. Y yeah, like what? Oh god, damn it! I, this don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I kind of just laugh about that too. That's another little blurb I've seen uh, on the internet's about you know a teacher talking about why boys draw penises on shit or whatever. I who the hell knows. Like, I'm sure there's some philosophical, or not philosophical, uh, psychological reasoning for <laughs> Some it. Freudian reason. Yeah. Whoa, keys. Yeah, which almost certainly opened that door back there that yeah. I tried to open that was locked. Oh god, please don't kill me. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, but all this talk of philosophy is making me thinking of, uh, you've seen the Goonies, right? <laughs> Uh, no, actually, I haven't. Oh, shit, really? Yeah, no, it's another thing on the internet that I'll be crucified for. Wow. Never seen uh, the Goonies. Well, anyway, there's this part where he, the kid is uh, captured, and they're the, like, bad guys are trying to get information out of him. So the kid thinks he's, like, being tortured to get information taken out of him or whatever. Right. So being a little kid, he's just discussing all the bad shit he's done, you know, like, blowing up Barbie dolls or whatever kind of deal you know innocent funny kids things right because it's a kids movie um it is the best and worst adventure movie of all time uh best and worst <laughs> oh yeah uh i'll watch it with you and you'll see why um but he gets to this part where he's like but the worst thing i ever did was mix up a bunch of gross stuff and i went on the balcony of the movie theater and i made a noise like this <laughs> <sighs> and all these people got sick. <laughs> they never felt so bad in my entire life. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. That was the worst thing he did? Well, he, he's like 11. I, sure, but like, I don't know, man. Like, I've met some kids that have done some pretty horrible shit by 11. Like, it's it's supposed to be adorable, Neil. No, I get it, but like, we live in a... Uh, we live close to an this urban... This movie was made in the early 80s. We live close to an urban population center where gang initiations happen on a fucking weekly basis. Well, yeah, man, but that's also where we live. Like, okay. I'm so to guarantee you that shit was still happening in the 80s. Yeah, but... Like, that's, it's fucked up to say it, but, like, the, the truth of the matter is, like, if the most horrible thing that you've done by age 11 was, like, mix up a whole bunch of gross stuff and then, like, throw it at some people at a movie theater, life's pretty good. 
No, definitely, but the people who are watching the Goonies will see that as cute as innocent. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get at. Of course, awful shit happens. Of course, there's child soldiers, but when American kids get to watch their whatever movie... You, you We're get, gonna get you, started on Coney again. <laughs> dude, fuck that horse shit. Oh fuck my does God. anybody even know what the hell happened with that? Because, like, the guy hadn't been active since 2003. Man, didn't you hear he what, had a nervous breakdown? No, no, no. Like, I, I knew about the guy, like, that did the campaign. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was found... Success! I'm pretty... <laughs> wow, they blow each other up? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't even expecting that to happen. I'm pretty sure it was found to be a sham, and... Uh... The guy just didn't want to get jail time? So he fucking, like, jacked I, off? I, and... I don't... I don't know enough about it, but, you know... It... For one, every... You know, any sensible person knew it was a fucking scam. Uh... You know, if you if you bought one of those Coney packages, you're a fucking idiot. Um, yeah, I got the star. But did he give any of the money back? No. <laughs> no, of course not. I, <laughs> no, of course who knows not. How don't much, be yeah, don't be stupid. I have no I have no idea uh, what possibly happened to him. I mean, if you get naked and jack off in front of people in the real world, a lawyer is going to get you craziness and you'll go to a hospital instead of just directly jail. I'm sure it cost him a lot. Um, have I... That's actually a really good topic for our, uh, our next episode. How long have we been running this one, do you know? We have probably about four minutes or so for this episode. Okay, well, I want a whole episode uh, to explain that. Well, actually, actually no, I could probably To explain what? I could probably do it in four minutes. Um, all these people who are getting... Um, like, all these people who think that getting fucking, uh, insanity is, like, the deal. Like, the fucking bee's knees or whatever. Uh, man, it... Alright, uh... <laughs> the council so, as a person who's been to jail must be earned. and never prison, if I would've had to wait to go to a mental hospital, I've never stayed in one, but I have taken patients there, I can tell you I would've rather been in the mental hospital. Um, well, here's Be the thing. Because of more room and whatever. But, you know, you can say your piece. So, you're a cr so let's say you're a clever criminal, okay? Mm -hmm. And you know how to, quote-unquote, get away with murder, okay? Yeah. And you think that the way to get away with it is to go for an insanity plea, and now you're in some mental ward, um instead of an actual prison, okay? All right. I've been in a mental ward. I, I will say that it is no uh, camp cupcake. No. Uh, and, it's it's and, definitely not prison. And like as we, I and as I've said, I've worked in them and taken patients there, so... I, I should state that I had a three-day stay because I had a nervous breakdown, and that was it. Like, I was, I was out after that. Uh, I'm very grateful that I didn't have a longer stay in a mental hospital in three days. Um... Here's my reasoning on the whole m mental hospital is not better than prison thing. Um, a prison takes away your freedom, okay? Yeah. You're not allowed to do anything that the guards don't say you can do. You're not allowed to, like, go anywhere or talk to anyone unless specific set of rules are being, uh, you know, met. It, it's, it is control in its uh, ultimate form is how most people see it. And they're not 100% wrong. It is a great deal of control being imparted on the prisoners, the inmates, right? Yeah. But where a prison only takes your freedom, a mental hospital will eventually take your mind. And, I mean, Mark Twain said it best, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. At least I'm pretty sure that was Mark Twain. I don't know. Uh, I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. Well, yeah, I think, though, the bit behind it, though, is that it is a linear sentence, and also you you might get out quicker if you get the insanity plea, because that's why usually prosecutors fight so hard against it, is because I think the bigger thing is, is that somebody gets away with it if they're not actually mentally sick, and I'm, I'm saying that with air quotes, because I... 
I'm not a fucking doctor, and I'm also not a criminal justice person, but... Well, wanting to murder another human being is a form of mental illness, yeah? It, uh, no. <laughs> because people have killed for just personal gain, and people have killed for selfish reasons that doesn't mean that and i think that's where the whole point comes in because you know there's a difference between a crime of mental illness or crime of passion and somebody who was you know uh not mentally it because that's the whole thing with premeditated murder like no you fucking thought about this and right and that's just how that do but well we can get more into this on the next episode i guess and go further down the rabbit hole as to why you think uh, mental health facilities are not necessarily as bad as prison. I think they're actually worse. Um, well, it, this is kind of an interesting topic because I don't think you've ever been arrested, have you? No, I have not. So I've been arrested but never uh, spent time in a mental facility, and you've never been arrested so but spent time in a So each of us is kind of talking from <laughs> one side of this. That's actually pretty I amazing. Know, that's hilarious. <laughs> All right, uh, so next time on Nihal Hala, we'll go further into this topic, I guess. <laughs>